hello guys and welcome back to my channel today i will show you guys how you can create this um amazing bed flyer so if you've watched my previous video on balancing um i think that principle will be used right here to balance this design and make it look perfect so guys if you are joining us for the first time kindly subscribe and um hit the notification icon so you can get updates whenever i release um my new video tutorial or any graphic related tips all right so guys let's get started without wasting time so i've already um imported the color code i'll be using for this design so which is this so this color code will be on the description for you to download and use for your own um practice and for your own better design right so i will focus more on um, the grid for the alignment and balance okay so let's get started i'm going to hide this for the meantime and then i'll activate this and uh, i'm just going to pick a color so i'll pick a shape anyway I'll pick a shape so i head to shape and then uh, all right i'll pick i'll click on the shapes and then i'll use this square okay so i'm just going to change the color of this square to a gradient um color so i'll click on gradient and then the plus icon so i will click on this one and then i will choose a color code which is so i will pick a color all right okay i think um i'm going to go with this for the top and then i'll come here and i'll pick a color as well mm -hmm. I'll pick this one okay so this is good to go I'm just going to extend this now all right I'll activate this so I can get my alignments correctly okay so once we've done this the next thing I will do is to change the color of my background so I'll head to the background I'll click on color and I'll pick this one okay so guys what i'm going to do next now is to pick another shape which will be for the so i'm going to make the design for the um for the picture of for the picture i want to design right now so i'll pick a shape as well and then i'll come over here i'll bring it close so i think this size should be great okay Oh, let me edit this to the size I used earlier. So let me check. This is at 25. I'll make this at 20, at the range of 20. And this one, I'll put it at the range of um, 20 as well. So that would be 80. 20. Um, and then I will extend this to touch that line. Okay. So what I'm going to do next now is to. Alright. Okay, I'm going to bring on that line. So I will need another line here, so I will um, copy and I will move this line to this side so I can get an alignment here as well. So I will bring it to this side and this is great. And then I will move this to touch the line. Okay, so the next thing I will do here is to change the color of this. So I will pick a color. So I will have to color, change the color of that shape. Well, I will just click on a D so I can get the color from here and then the plus icon and i will pick this color all right so the next i will um click on the shape again okay let me lock this so i can do some other things i'll click on shape again and then i'll bring this close here to cover up this side So once this is done, I will change the color to the yellow color. So guys, from here, what I will do is to create the inner shape. And to do that, I'll take measurement of this. So this is um, at, oh, sorry, this is at 20. So I'll give it a space of two. So I'll copy and then I'll put this at 22. So this, so this will be at 22. And then I will do to, I will do the same thing to this place. So this is at eighty. So I'm just going to copy, and then I'll put this at seventy eight. So this should be at seventy eight. 
all right so the next is for this one so we check and this is 50 so it will be at 48 so i will copy this okay yeah i'll copy and then i'll put this at 48 and then next will be this so I'll check the um these are these are three so i'm just going to copy this and then i'll put this at five all right so once you've gotten this nice thing is to click on shapes and then just um make sure this is aligned with the inner shape that we've created and with doing that we've achieved this right so that's for this so the next thing i'll do now is to um import my shadow so let me uh like this and import a shadow so i'm just going to import from my gallery all right should be under my downloads okay okay so i'm just going to put this somewhere down and then I'll slant. Alright, so let me take this to the back. So I'll click to back. Alright, to front. Sorry, to front. And then I'll move it down to the back of the stuff I have designed. Okay, so the next thing is to import my picture. My picture here is already in PNG form. So if you want to get your picture in PNG, you head straight to Photo P and sorry, Photo Room and download Photo Room. So Photo Room can make your image transparent. All right, so I'm just going to bring this closer to the side. All right, so I'm just going to max now. So once I've achieved this, uh, we will just max okay so to max i will click on this grid so this can show my grid oh the grid is gone but if i had that grid it would be better for me to max and i wouldn't like to form the grid again but if you still have that grid you just need to max alongside with the grid but i'm just going to do this now without the grid so i will max now Click on max and then I will make sure this is aligning with the shapes. I'm just going to move this. Okay. You see, I'm just going to make sure it is straight. With the inner um the inner shape so let me activate this so i can reduce okay okay all right so once i have achieved that i'll just make sure all these ones are covering the girls um the total image so i can click on out and get the perfect um fitting like i said earlier using the grid the inner um the inner shape grid will make this better than just doing it like this okay since you've gotten a nice um a nice look the next thing i'll do is to type in uh, my tests all right so i'll type in happy so this will be happy and i'll need these fonts now so straight to fonts 
I will pick um okay. Let me search first. Okay, I'll be using this. All right, let me increase this more. And then I will head to paddling to show off the remaining parts of the tests. Okay. So let me change this color to the color and uh, to the dark color at this side. So the next is the birthday test. So this will be birthday. Okay. So I just need to change this color now. Head to fonts and then I will change the color to okay to this one. All right. So I need to increase. I will increase, and then I will change the color as well. So the next, I will write that day. So guys, like I said, subscribe and click on the notification icon so you can get updated. You can get notified every day when I release tutorials on graphic design. When I release tips on a daily um, basis on how you can get better in graphics. So I'm just going to make sure this test is um, aligned and balanced with this um, bet test, the day test and the bet test. And once I have achieved that, I will move to the next um, design. So let me move this Upwards. I'll just need to move this upward a bit. Oops, sorry, not this. Okay, let me move this and this upward a bit. All right. So, guys, the next is the name of my um, clients. The client I'm making the design for. So, we should be Princess Diana. So, I'm just going to put Princess here. Okay, Princess Diana. Alright, this is the wrong C. Okay, so I'll change the fonts to a better font. I'll use that same font. I just use the single font for this whole design. So I'll release, um, I'll reduce this. Okay, I'll reduce this. Okay. And then I'll head to the texture, the background, yeah, the background, and I'll activate this. I'll pick this color, the dark color as my color. And then this should be eight, okay, eight. And this should be five. Oh, sorry, this should be five. All right, so I'll make this 10. You just um, toggle around this to get a nice um, balanced test. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to reduce this more. I think 15. Then I will space it out to, to make it clear enough. Alright. Okay, let me reduce the let me reduce the radius. So I'll go back. Okay, let me make this. I think five should be great. First, and I'm just going to make the space as well balance. Okay. So the next is the tests. So I'm just going to type in the test. I think I copied this earlier. So let me try and paste. Okay. This is a nice test. Well, the celebrants. 
Okay. So I'm just going to change the font to this font. Then I'll bring it closer. Right, yeah, so sorry for this. I think I minimized my mistake. So I'm just going to change this color to that exact color that I used earlier. And um, I'll make sure this is also balanced with the text, with all the design. And then the next will be to uh, to type in the date. So I'll just um, click shapes now for the dates. This color. Okay. You can also rule this out with the grid, but that will take my time. So guys, right now I'm just going to type. Uh, okay. I'm just going to straighten this demo. So guys, from here I'm just going to um um alright. The dates will be the next. So okay, that's it. The dates, the month, and the year will be the next. So I'm just going to place each and each of them in the center of the box I've designed. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to reduce this as it's big. I'll reduce this to be very small, but not too small. And I'll make sure it's at the center. Of this square, make sure the center of the square or the rectangle and it's nice called. All right. So the next will be the um, the months. Okay, this should be zero five. Also at the center, this is to make your work mix and um, effective. So the next will be the year. So guys, this will be the end of the video. And um, before you go, kindly subscribe, like, share, and see you guys next in my next tutorial. So the next thing after this to get your design out, you just need to save them. As usual, you save. And to save, you just need to um, click here and then save as ultra so you can get the highest quality, right? So thank you guys for watching.